Do I look college? I mean, I feel like I could pass for college right now. Good morning, good life. Welcome back to Amy TV, where we come together to help you go after the life that you want. If you've been around here in the past, you know that I sometimes make videos about calendar blocking and time batching and making the most of your day. And I've actually gotten a, a fair bit of feedback in the comments, in my emails, meeting people on the street from college students saying that they found the information really useful and that it was able to help them in school. Shout out to the older sisters or the mamas of the college kids who pointed them in my direction. I see you, I appreciate you, and I know what the real situation is, okay? I got to thinking about this as I was like, hmm, that's interesting that more younger people are watching some of my stuff. And I thought, what would it be like if I calendar blocked a day in the life in college? Not really interested in going back, but we can pretend. When it comes to taking classes, pretty much the only thing I ever do is Skillshare because I can do it in the comfort of my own home, in my own office, in my own yoga pants. Fortunately, they're also the sponsor of this episode, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so you can hear more about how you can take advantage of a great special and get more educated yourself. On the mission of doing this video, I went to my Twitter and asked if there were any college students who would like to share their class schedule with me, and to my great surprise, there were many of you who were unafraid to share the exorbitant amount of weekly commitments that you have and that was quite relatable for me so thank you shout out to Ashley Carroll 044 the chosen schedule for today's little experiment an experiment is a great word for it actually Ashley is a chemistry major at Case Western and here's a couple of more details about her her life that contribute to her schedule. She's a senior, so she's got some extra stuff on her plate for being in the chemistry major, including research. So that's definitely gonna play a role in her calendar. She's also in a sorority, so we've gotta make a little bit of time for that as well. She isn't working, she's a full-time student, so she did have an internship over the summer, like most students do, especially at this stage in college, but that is not something that we are having to a lot time for in this calendar blocking example. All right, so there are a couple rules to this game because your college, they give you advice so that you could be the best that you can be in your studies. And so we need to incorporate that into our planning today. One of those rules is study ASAP. Anytime you take a class, you should really be thinking about studying for that same class that you took as soon as you can because the information is fresh in your mind. Most colleges are gonna tell you to do this, so we're gonna try to follow suit on that. The next thing is a little basic math problem when it comes to time management. Your school is probably going to advise you that based on the number of credit hours you have in a semester, you should plan to be studying for double that amount of time because we all follow the rules, right? And finally, go to freaking class, okay? The rule of studying only works if you go to class. The best time to study is when the professor is literally telling you what is going to be on the test. So go to class. My rules for this game are the following. You must eat, you must sleep, and you must have a good morning to have a good life. So I'm going to be incorporating those into my calendar blocking strategies as well. Is it possible to follow all those rules and be successful in school and also have a life? <sighs> we're about to find out. Let's get into Ashley's college schedule and how we're going to calendar block it for success. All right, so we're gonna move fast here. I've already added Ashley's schedule to Google Calendar. I prefer to calendar block with Google Calendar because especially when you're dealing with a lot of appointments, a lot of moving pieces, you've gotta make sure that it's easy to reschedule and double check on your phone. So as you can see, we've already got Spanish 2, biochem, modern physics, cooking, history, all of that on the board. Now, I have already pre-designed all of the appointments that are going to be in play here, but I'm gonna slowly pop them on, starting with extracurriculars. So we obviously know that Ashley is in a sorority and we're going to want that on the calendar. This is usually something that happens on Sundays. There's a long meeting of some kind and there's probably some other things going on throughout the week that we need to pay attention to, but it's gonna be a case-by-case -case basis when parties are, other kinds of gatherings, giving back to the community. We're not gonna put that on the calendar, but we do have to remember that that will be a variable and might have to be worked around sometimes. But what we know for sure is that there is a weekly commitment on Sundays. Next most important thing is to put my rules on the board. That's sleeping, eating, and good morning, good life. So I've gone ahead and 
pre-drafted all of that. It's a lot to look at, but take a look. There's a time of day for breakfast. There's a time of day for lunch. There's a time of day for dinner. There's even a time of day for your little morning routine. Whether you wake up and meditate or you just want to write in your journal, totally up to you, but it's there. It's possible every day and you're still getting seven hours of sleep every night. Now, obviously I did not put your sleep hours on Friday and Saturday night because honey, I get it. You got to play it by ear, but at least you're catching up on sleep every single night. You can go to class refreshed. You do not have to be up all hours. Okay. You got to set some boundaries for yourself. Now here's where something really interesting is going to take place. What we know is that there are 17 credit hours at play here. I believe we only have 14 scheduled here because the senior project alone is three credit hours, but we're still going to find 34 total study hours. You'll notice there's a lot of white space right now and that is about to go away. But here is what I planned out. Studying in the morning after the morning routine, it's gonna vary on a per day basis so there's plenty of time to commute to class and also have your breakfast because you gotta fuel up if that's the right thing for you. But there is absolutely studying every single morning and that's because that is when your brain is at a great point in being able to process information. It's gonna take some practicing and getting used to, but this is a good time to pack in a couple of those hours. We also know that there is a rule that you should study as soon as possible after class. So you'll notice there's a lot of afternoon studying hours as well. If mornings are not best for you, look at the white space that still exists. If you don't wanna do anything on the weekend and you don't like that there is time on Saturday and Sunday that you have to study, then look at the other white spaces that exist. There's still time to party Friday and Saturday night. There's still time for brunch on Saturday because who needs breakfast and lunch on Saturday? Go to brunch with your friends and you know you slept in. So that morning routine probably isn't gonna be there, is it? No. Don't make the excuse that you have to stay up super, super late to study because you don't if you make the time. And you also don't have to miss out on a lot of other cool stuff. We've still got time for the sorority. We still have time for Netflix and chill after dinner if you really want. I mean, bedtime at 10 o'clock may not be your bag, but this is a really good schedule for someone who's not waking up at the crack of dawn, but also not having to cram and stay up late. There are going to be times where you're studying for a test and more hours are going to matter. But if you balance your life to get that almost to double of what your credit hours are on a weekly basis, you are going to be much more prepared for everything that school throws at you. Whew, well, that was a lot of fun. Ooh, super glad to not be in college. A couple of tips I want you to take away additionally here. Don't kill yourself over this, right? If you try your best to get as many study hours as you can, that's gonna help you a great deal. You know this if you're in school already, you gotta study. You may not necessarily need to get to that double time, but you should be striving for it as much as possible. That being said, if you're in the middle of a two hour block of studying and you need to walk away and take a break, walk away and take a break. I still recommend the Pomodoro technique, so maybe you're doing 25 minute stints of studying and taking a five minute break. Maybe you do something like that so you don't cram your brain with so much that you just end up uh, totally overwhelmed by what's on your plate. We don't want you there either. Very important to note, procrastination exponentiates. So if you procrastinate on something and then you procrastinate on something else, now you've got a whole bunch of stuff you gotta cram to get done. We don't wanna do that. You need to reverse engineer your success as much as possible. If you know when the final is, how do you study enough for the final leading up to that point? Maybe you plan over the entire semester. Maybe there's certain periods of time where you're planning on having entire study days and they're not at the last minute, but they're a little bit further in advance so you don't feel so down to the wire when the big things happen. Same thing with things like a senior project or other types of projects. If you procrastinate on too many things, you're gonna end up in a situation where it's just not going to be a success across the board. And nobody needs mo mediocre across the board. You're not gonna be great at everything, but you need to set yourself up to be mostly good at a lot of things because that's how you pass college. Like, unfortunately, you gotta take a test to make this all happen. Lots of tests. Don't use your roommates or the environments around you as an excuse, okay? You pay big money for access to academic centers and online support and resources. So use them and get out of the environments you know are not going to be conducive for you studying or really getting mentally ready for something 
just go to where they've already prepped for you to do this and take a few moments for yourself. It will pay off. Question of the day, what is your current biggest obstacle with prioritizing on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can block out your schedule throughout the week? Leave that in a comment below so we can all help each other. Whether you're a college student or you're already in adulthood and looking for some new ways to get educated and brush up on your skills, that is why we are sponsored today by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online Online learning community for creators with more than 30,000 classes in design business and so much more something I love is always improving the video content that I share with you for this we've really been liking the iPhone videography shoot and edit video using your iPhone course try out Skillshare on a college budget and get those first two months for free when you click the link in the description below. After your two months are up, it'll only be $10 a month for complete access to all of the programs on Skillshare. What a great deal. Pretty sure college is way more expensive than that, so check it out. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life that you want. Cheers. Oh my gosh, I almost filmed this video with the air conditioning on because it is so friggin' hot, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> I hate that blowing sound in the microphone. Hate it. I hate it. Ugh. Girls particular. Yes, I'm wearing a jacket. Stop judging me. I'd like to give a big shout out to my team of experts, my 20-somethings in the office who are recently out of college and could verify most of this information for me. They couldn't verify if they followed this advice, but that's because they probably didn't know how I was yet, so. You know, we can't fault them for that.